morning, I'm on an excursion. This is Destination Gateway. It's such a lovely way to get on and off the ship. So, beautiful celebrity on, but um, docked in Mar Malaga. I was going to say Marbella. It wasn't docked in Marbella, but I went on a shore excursion to Marbella. I'm going to show you along. And alternatively, if you didn't want to go on a shore excursion, you could get the shuttle bus into Malaga uh, region, and go for a potter around Malaga. Is, uh, it's busy uh, um, in Port There was lots of I ships with us. You can see them here as we um, drive Maybe out on our coach on the shore excursion. Of, uh, Spain or... Far Peninsula. Nice car. Marbly towns. <laughs> fountain over there, a uh, full of ceramic that represents a very famous building. on a walking tour. city or village is the white color everything painted. were used to, to be dressed in the time of Goya. Natural flowers everywhere. Hmm? Or here, and maybe you are wondering, why do we have so much iron covering the windows? Now ask Santiago Church. Santiago in uh, English. Oh, okay. Where else are you going? Ah, yeah, we're going to see the main church, okay. the walls. No public booze here, but got a coffee when you go to the loo, it's a win win. Look at this here. This is the middle of the square. We find, uh, I'm talking about the father of the king that we have to nail in They have the name Carmen. Maybe you have heard about the famous opera in between a girl that uh, worked at art maker and she had a, a boyfriend, French. So uh, we have to think that at the time of the Muslims, the host. The old walls of Montpellier. I mean, it's really The same pairs that we've got in London. <laughs> main church. Here we have a statue in bronze of this sand, is the patron saint of the city. Luxury hotel. I mean, we are going to see one. Hmm? Uh, uh, next to the road, uh, uh, you try. I mean, I'm talking about this, those rich, rich families. Uh, they try to have beautiful dresses, and uh, they buy uh, all this uh, beautiful dress of uh, very important. You know, there are all uh, over here where are all these uh, uh, cars on the left, these arches. Uh, this is the entrance of the Marbella. Beach uh, Club Hotel. I don't know if that happened in your country. One is working and four are watching. <laughs> My God. So, <laughs> yeah, hotel. And look at the mosque that we find in a minute on the right hand side. Uh, there is a small mosque used by the Arabs when they are here. Look on the right. Okay. 
is a is a reproduction uh, of the White House uh, of Washington. Uh, and now uh, there is another house that is near under the high palm trees and uh, a White House with a pyramidal. Uh, this is gorgeous. It's a house with uh, more or less 20 different rooms. We know, uh, we know, of the king from Arabia to her. I don't know if uh, he does something for that, huh? but thousands of dollars. Huh? And over here, we have as well a bull ring that we can see on the right hand side. This, this building. Uh, We're in the marina now, and it's just bush boats, although there's better, better boats than some barks. <laughs> um, all around. A jet ski up there on top of that one, and the scooters as well. I'm gonna go along to that one at the end. It looks like a mini cruise ship. <laughs> So we had some spare time to wander around Porto Bano. Um, very posh shops. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, I I thought it'd be you know a bit of a pretentious kind of place, lots of shops, lots of posh shops, which exactly was. But I wanted to go and visit and see and have a look and window shop. <laughs> Spend far too much on cruises to um shop in any of these outlets or <laughs> well, not they're not outlets they're full price places um but it was a nice place to wander around for the day it was it was interesting then it was back to celebrity beyond back on board um but everyone knows around the ship the the destination of this cruise really her maiden voyage wanted to have a nose um i took a few pictures from the um dock of the magic carpet um, from a strange angle here, as you can see. Um, and then I went back on board to the Sunset Bar. I filmed a reel around the rooftop garden, but I thought I'd include them in this in case you're not on Instagram and you haven't seen my reel. Um, so I'm sorry that they're kind of portrait um, filmed and not landscape. But this area of the ship is just incredible with all this greenery. I'm really, well they were showing a film up there as well, but there weren't many people watching. Um, it's just a beautiful area of the ship, really beautiful. All these trees, plants, um, loads of different seating areas, lots of little private cubby sort of areas to sit in. And the, the plants, I mean look, I, I'm just amazed really and totally jealous of the gardeners who get to work on board and look after all those plants. Um, it's just beautifully designed. It's, it just feels like a very relaxing place to sit. Um, you can't actually see off the side of the ship too well unless you're uh, right away from the middle of the roof garden, which you just couldn't really believe you were on a ship. Um, I mean, so there's lavender, so there's lots of nice smelling plants as well. Um, and yeah, I'm totally jealous of the gardener who gets to look after all these. And I see him later on in the vlog series, briefly. Um, pandering to his his lovely plant collection. Look at them, all the succulents and stuff down there. Just in awe. It's just an amazing part of the ship and you should go visit if you are on board Celebrity Beyond. You will not be disappointed.
So my infinity veranda, when I took the window down, I could see this Maskline ship quite well. And I, oh, and this little sightseeing ship as well. But the cargo ship, I just, I can't comprehend what's in all of those containers and how it floats. <laughs> I mean, I did physics and A-level and I understand how it floats, but just how does it float? <laughs> Right. Oh, it's beautiful sunshine now. It was raining earlier. Um, I'm going out for an early dinner because I want to come and watch Sail Away after and then go to the theatre as well. Um, sorry, I'm like a little bit wheezy. Um, it's just my post-Covid cough, the joys of Covid, hey? Um, I don't know, I think I'm a bit hay fevery too. Um, but anyway, I'm all okay. Um, yes, I'm off to Cyprus for dinner. I'll take you with me. <laughs> Show you the food, the menu. Just cocktails. I'm just gonna have soft drink though. Include a drink. This is delicious. It's a hard stack on a plate, but it's delicious. And then these change every day. And I think I'm gonna have steak and chips. They're the same every day. And then these are exclusive to Cyprus. Your wino. There are wines there made specifically for celebrity cruises. I think the bottle of wine that I've been given free as a gift, that everyone was given free as a gift, is one of them. It's goat cheese butter and parmesan and bread. This week, actually, she sent a picture and I asked her if she was going to go snorkeling or. Singapore, Bali, all down Australia. <laughs> After a delicious dinner in Cyprus, I then headed to the theatre. Um, and I'll show you. So when the theatre production team um, are playing and doing a show, you can film. And it will tell you on the Celebrity Beyond app if you're allowed to film or not.
Stephen Sondheim. 